All of us are connected to the internet 24 hours a day. But have you ever wondered how is Google, Facebook or WhatsApp accessible from anywhere in the world? People think the data is in the cloud, but it's not. It's in the ocean. Yes, most of what you see on the internet, including this video, travels to you from underwater. 98% of all international data is transferred through a labyrinth of cables stretching across the ocean floor. Transatlantic cables were installed more than 150 years ago for the telegraph network. At the end of the 20th century, the deployment of fiber optics brought about a revolution in implementing this type of cable. Today, they connect distant continents along the ocean floor and are all around the globe. A cable-laying ship lays cable lines underwater. The torso of a cable-laying ship is enormous and mostly weigh over 11,000 tons. They can easily lay more than one communicative cable line simultaneously. The size of a cable-laying ship depends on the depth of the ocean floor where it is required to position the cables. The greater the depth, the larger the vessel size and vice versa. However, cable ships must take necessary measures to ensure that the wires and amplifiers are not damaged and can work for many decades. Some laying techniques include shoreline, shallow waters, hard bottom areas and deep ocean. Undersea cable installation is environmentally a low-impact commercial process given its maintenance, operation and repair. The previously used small diameter fiber optic cables were damaged by fishing boats. To reduce the risk of damage, modern-day underwater cables are buried in the ocean floor using special undersea plows. There are more than 420 underwater cables worldwide, totaling about 1.3 million kilometers. The cables begin as a cluster of strands of tiny threads of glass fibers. Lasers propel data down the threads at nearly the speed of light using fiber optic technology. After reaching land and connecting with an existing network, the data needed to read an email or open a web page makes its way onto a person's device. While most of now largely experience the internet through Wi-Fi and phone data plans, those systems eventually link up with physical cables that swiftly carry the information across continents or oceans. In manufacturing, the cables move through high-speed mills, the size of jet engines wrapping the wire in a copper casing that carries electricity across the line to keep the data moving. Depending on where the cable will be located, Plastic, steel and tar are added later to help it withstand unpredictable ocean environments. When finished, the cables will end up the size of a thick garden hose. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments and for more information, subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell button so that you don't miss any of our updates.